Today I'm going to work in my Art Journal Prompts Art Journal. And these Art Journal Prompts are given by Deb Packwood at Art Zoology. There's a link to her channel and the Week 10 prompt in the description box below. Every week, Deb gives us an Art Journal prompt to work on. I've been enjoying these. So far, I've been keeping up. I already have... A nice little art journal going here by following these prompts. I'm really enjoying these. For week 10, I'm going to work on the back of the Silly Lady page. So I'm going to pull it out. The week 10 prompt is just magazine image. But I was going through my stash, and I found this image. This is out of an old, old old, 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 like 1890, something like that magazine that I had been pulling images out of for several years. And this was one that I cut around, but I saved this as of a, of a story. And of course, there looks like they're at a, an illustration where they are at a dinner party. But I love the caption here. I cut the part of it off here, but it says, You mean, shall I marry her? <laughs> so I kind of like that. And then I just have this little piece of ephemera that looks like it was off of a red work pattern, but it's talking about a luncheon cloth. And I thought that would kind of go nice right in here. I have... A background paper out of a magazine that is, let's see, what magazine is this? This is a New Yorker magazine, but I'd used it for a drop paper, but I really like that color, and I like this piece of rice paper that I have. So I'm thinking about collaging these. I also have this word, whoa, <laughs> that I cut out. I was in a swap several years ago where the theme was pink and someone had sent me this collage it looks like it's fabric and text page and but it really goes with this whole pink purple theme so this is kind of a collage type thing i have a drop paper of a stencil that image that i was playing around with just on a piece of blind paper that I have. I like that. I think I'll put that down first and then maybe this. I have my sprocket side painted a bright yellow color. Painting the sprocket sides of my journal a bright color. My whole journal is going to be whoa, whoa, whoa. You mean shall I marry her? <laughs> so that's where I'm going with this. I'm going to put it together. And let's see what happens.
Okay, I think I'm finished with this. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I'm happy with the elements that I got on here. This is a picture from an old magazine when they used to publish stories in magazines. It looks like they're at a dinner party and the little caption under it says, you mean shall I marry her? And I, to me that's talking about the decision to get married and maybe the hesitancy, thinking about it but not quite sure. And then I found this that says taking the plunge. And I just put her there because I thought she belonged at the dinner party. <laughs> I have some flowers that I cut out of a gardening magazine just to kind of dress up the page. And it goes with the pink collage piece that I had in my stash. The yellow does not quite belong with this page as far as color goes. But I like that because it's that little bright touch of color on the sprocket side that's running through my entire art journal. I also have here a piece of my handmade washi tape, and then I was just kind of playing with the dots that I put around the page. On this side, I kind of splayed them out. I like that, but I don't think I want it for the entire page. So I think that I'm going to leave it just like this. I think it says exactly what it needs to say. I had fun doing it. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this, and I will see you on the next page.